Hello, this is Tom Gandhi with Southern Market Share, where we help salespeople solve their customers' material handling issues. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about soft wall partitions. A soft wall partition is used to divide up two areas. This is a vinyl wall that hangs from the ceiling down to the floor. Not all of them go all the way to the floor, but in most cases we do. Soft walls are used for a variety of reasons. The first one is visual control. You want to keep an area so that other people cannot see what's going on inside of it. We do cross containment separation, dust containment, odor containment, overspray, Temperature control, perhaps you have one side of your warehouse that's air conditioned and the other side is not. And then also fume control, you think about like a welding area. Here's an example of a welding area where the customer wanted the welding material in the center, but yet not any visual control at the top. We left the bottom open to bring makeup air or fresh air into the room. And inside of the room, they had containment control that was provided by an air quality company. Here's a room we did, so they called it a clean room. They were just assembling some cylinders in here and they wanted a cleaner environment from the rest of the factory. See, we closed it off at the top, did cutouts for where we're going through the walls, installed some strip curtains for entrance and exit points. Here's one we installed on a mezzanine. We uh, sealed it to the roof, put a window vision panel in there so people could see what was going on inside, and then sealed it to the bottom of the mezzanine. Here's a welding area. Uh, the customer in this instance was had several welders. He wanted a clear vision at the top area so he could have light control back and forth. We put strip curtains all the way around the bottom these were designed to contain the welding arc. And again, we left a little bit of room at the bottom so the airflow could move through. This is a hybrid system. Customer currently had a wall in place that kept having dust and other filaments floating over the wall and getting into this area and they needed to contain it. So we came in and hung a clear strips all the way down. Actually, these were clear panels, excuse me, all the way down to keep that dust and filaments out of that area. Uh, we can also make these systems retractable. And obviously this one moves right to left. They wanted to be able to move this plane in here and do some sandblasting on it, not have the sandblast particles roll throughout the rest of the facility. Um, these curtains easily move. There's a string that hangs from the top down and a customer can just simply grab it. One operator can walk it down and close this system up as you see down here. We can also make our systems used outside. So if you have an outside area, maybe an overhang, we can come in and enclose that area, make it retractable. And then exterior applications, we put D-rings into the concrete, recess them, and then we put some straps to hold our wall system down periodically so the wind doesn't blow it open. Then we also have um, rooms that'll expand out. So this is pushed up against the wall, and then you can pull it out so you can uh, bring a piece of equipment in from overhead, set it in place and pull the room around it. Or maybe in this instance, it's an operation that isn't done that often. And so they wanted to be able to not take up all the floor space with a containment room, except when they needed it. This customer, in fact, wanted the room to be flexible enough he could move it. So rather than mounting the track system on the floor that our rollers run on, he put some plywood down or some wood down so that he could roll and put the track on that. Now, how these systems install are very simple. Um, we can obviously refer you to an installer, but they simply hang either from the top of an I-beam. Here's an I-beam installation. You just clip it at the top with a, with a uh, beam clamp, which we'll supply, and it'll, the curtain will hang down all the way to the floor if necessary. If you want to angle iron it to the floor to keep it from moving, we'll, we'll provide that as well. Where you go in between trusses, uh, we do a spanner that are hook system will hang from. And then when we go between trusses or where there are several cutouts, we'll, we'll do a top balance 
And then we'll do a lower curtain. This lower curtain starts right here and hangs down. The top balance starts at the top and comes down. This is some aircraft cable that allows it to drop down. The reason we do this is usually there's conduit, piping, everything that runs back and forth through the trusses. And we don't want to do the cutouts in our main curtain. We want to do those in our balance up at the top. So this is a quick introduction into SOPR soft wall partitions. I appreciate your time today and look forward to helping you in the future. Thank you and have a great day.